Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and I wanted to share some solutions that I've been exploring when it came to removing my first aid kit from my belt. There's a few reasons behind this. One of the reasons is that it created additional bulk. It weighed me down a little bit more, made it hard to get into a vehicle or sit in a chair, and so it was uncomfortable at times. And then at the same time, I don't always wear the belt, but I always need first aid. And so if I'm wearing a chest rig and doing a ruck, but I don't have my belt on because the pistol isn't necessary and it's extra weight, well, am I ditching the only IFAC I have, or am I just carrying two IFACs now because I have to have one with my other pieces of kit and on my belt line? So after all that deliberation, I decided to slim things up. I've actually done a pretty good job of that on my battle belt which you can see right here, is now just a holster with the pistol, a dump pouch, some spare magazines, and some gloves. And that's it. And that's helped me a lot when it came to saving weight, making things more comfortable. And like I said, this system isn't always a requirement. So right now it's mostly just for sustaining the pistol itself. So I used to use the Refuge Medical SOB kit, which is actually what you see right here, now mounted to my plate carrier. It's a really nice kit and it's very slim as you can see and it fits really well in the small of your back on a battle belt for taking up less space and not being so obtrusive. But even with a kit purpose built for that, I still felt like it got in the way a lot. So I've got four first aid kits on me right now without my belt on, with no plate carrier, with no chest rig or anything. And these are the solutions I've been looking into because well, it allows me to be more capable in the sense of rendering medical aid without having to strap pieces of kit to every single thing that I own. And so that's what I wanted to share with you because it might help you because man, having all this stuff strapped to every single piece you own means that you have a lot of redundancy and in many cases, probably too much, especially when it comes to trying to conserve on weight. Now, I do wanna mention that Midway USA is the biggest supporter of the channel. Thanks to them, I can give you this information, test out new gear, and one of these first aid kits is actually available directly through them. So I will let you know which one that is when we get to it. And we're gonna tear open, well, not necessarily tear open, but I'm gonna tell you every component of each first aid kit because, well, in all honesty, um, one of them I definitely don't want to open because that's how its whole form factor works. Most of these kits are from Refuge Medical and I have links down below to them as well as a discount code. I definitely highly recommend them. All of their nylon and everything's made in the USA. They're a good company and I don't actually make commissions off of those sales. What my commission rate goes towards is one of their charities which goes to help victims of child trafficking. So. I hope that's something that you could also get behind as well, and you'll get yourself a very high quality first aid kit while also supporting a worthy cause. So make sure you check those links and that discount code. Now, here's the thing. These kits are all on me right now, and I'm gonna show you that so you can be aware or even amazed at how easy it is to just get that thing off of your belt without ruining everything about your loadout, right? So first we'll go with the smallest, which is gonna be one you can get through Midway USA, and that's gonna be the Blue Force gear, Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano, which I think I said that right. There's a lot of words on this one. At the minimum, it's a Blue Force Gear Nano, let's just say. And this is a minimalist kit, but what's nice about this is that it has the bare necessities to give you a little bit more of an edge in the sense of first aid. Now, in conjunction with a tourniquet, which by the way, I pretty much always carry in my front pocket wearing jeans, shorts, it doesn't matter. I always have one of these on me. In conjunction with a tourniquet, this gives you a decent amount of capability in a very small package. So, like I said, after I tell you about all these and show you how I'm carrying them, I will tell you all of the components, but this one was in my back pocket, okay? So, Blue Force Gear, Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano, lots of words I know. Moving up to the next smallest, let's say. It's right here, in my cargo pocket. And that is the Refuge Medical Slick Kit. Sexy Legs and Khakis Kit. That's something that would help you remember it. But what's nice about this kit is very similar to the Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano from Blue Force Gear. Um, it's very slim, very small, but this has a lot more to it when it comes to what it gives you in the sense of capability. And as you can see, it fits in cargo pockets perfectly, which is exactly what it was designed for. That's why I was carrying it in my cargo pocket, but this is one of those kits that I don't wanna open because you can see it's vacuum sealed and once you open it, it's not gonna have this form factor anymore. So this is in my pocket right here, cargo pocket, which it fits in 
perfectly. So now I have a pretty solid first aid kit in my cargo pocket without having all that bulk on my belt. What's the next largest kit? Well, these might be kind of a tie. So we'll just start with the other cargo pocket so that you have that concept. And that's gonna be the POC kit from Refuge Medical. The slick kit is also from Refuge Medical, if I didn't say that. Every other kit is, except for the Blue Force gear. Um, but that's just something that's very niche. And like I said, you can get through Midway USA, but this is the pocket from Refuge Medical. Now this also fits in a cargo pocket, but it's even more substantial than the slick kit. As you can see, it's a little bit bulkier. It has a little bit more size to it, but it also has a very handy pull tab right here in order to easily identify what's in the pocket as well as quickly remove it. And then inside you have a much more robust first aid kit. So like I said, I'll give you all the components of each of these kits here after we go through the process of me showing you how I actually have all these on my body right now without any kit at all, which is why I think this might be the way to go in the sense of having it on you at all times on your body without worrying about if you have the right plate carrier or the right belt combination or the right chest rig situation to where you have at least one solid first aid kit, right? So that's the POC kit. This goes right here in my cargo pocket, just like the slick kit. It's a little bulkier, but it's in there, okay? Now the last kit, you're gonna like this one because this one might be good for everyday carry even if you wanna be a little bit extra prepared or maybe you live in like Chicago. So yeah, something you might wanna consider, but this is the ankle kit from Refuge Medical, which I have on currently. So I will demonstrate that. As you can see, voila, you can see my ghosty white legs now because it's been winter for a long time. What do you want from me? But this is also a very thorough first aid kit that has a lot going on with it. And it's pretty comfortable to wear in all honesty. I wasn't really feeling the weight of it. It's highly adjustable in the sense of tension. So you get a lot to work with in regards to how tight you want it to be. But in all reality, I mean, this was pretty easy to wear around and this is a substantial first aid kit, which you'll see here in just a minute. But yeah, I had all these on, right? This was on my ankle, no big deal. So. As you can see, there are some solutions out there for moving your first aid kit onto your person, inside of pockets on your pants or around your ankle. And the micro kit, micro trauma kit now nano, which <laughs> I'm just gonna memorize apparently in my sleep anyway, this thing is almost the size of like a wallet and it has this handy pull tab right here so that if it's in a pocket, you can retrieve it very easily. But what's nice about this is that throw this in the back pocket of a pair of jeans or something like that and you have at least some additional capability on you, even if you're just wearing normal clothes and you don't wanna wear cargo pants or as Bear Independent might say, cool guy pants, because Refuge Medical is his company, by the way. So let's talk about what's in each of the kits and just give you an idea as to their capability. That way you're aware of like what level of kit you have on you by choosing which one. But in all reality, they're all good options and they all enhance what you have on you without having to add any of that additional bulk or pouches or anything like that to any of your Molly gear. And that's just something that I was struggling with and now I don't have to struggle with anymore. So I wanted to share this with you all so you had the same possibility of dropping that weight and dropping that bulk that has made my life a lot easier. So. Let's get into the kits. I'll tell you all the components and hopefully you can make the decision yourself then which one will work best for you based on your requirements. And like I said, links down below as well as a discount code for all the Refuge Medical items, which is every single one of them, except for the Blue Force Gear one. And that one you can get from Midway USA. So here we have the Blue Force Gear Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano, which is a lot of words, but that's what this is. And you can see it's about the size of a wallet. You can see here in reference to my hand that it's pretty slim. It's a little bigger than a typical wallet, but it's still able to fit in a pocket, which is why it's nice. You can enhance your medical capability while wearing a pair of jeans or shorts or whatever you got on without having too much bulk. So what this has in it is very simplistic. And here's that pull tab, by the way. There's like a little bead in here that allows you to really rip on that if you need to in order to get out of your pocket. But all you get in here is a pair of trauma gloves, you get an S-Mark bandage, which Blue Force Gear lists as a pressure device, and then you also get Quick clot bleeding control dressing, which gives you a very basic but still capable amount of medical equipment. So not covering all your bases, but it does give you some additional capability from just having a tourniquet. And like I said before, you should probably carry one of these on you in your pocket at the very minimum. So 
Let's move on. All right, so here we have the Slick Kit from Refuge Medical. And like I said, this is very slim and fits in a cargo pocket really well. You can see it compared to the Blue Force Gear Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano. It's not much bigger. It's definitely not gonna fit in your typical pants pocket, but it will fit in a cargo pocket, whereas this will fit in an actual pocket on a pair of jeans. So that's the difference in size at least, but width wise, they're very similar. In fact, this might be slimmer. So this basically takes up no space at all. And like I said, I don't wanna open it because it's vacuum sealed and specifically designed to form fit into a cargo pocket. But this has everything you might need in the sense of dealing with trauma. So you get a halo chest seal, you get the two pack, you get a Z fold combat bandage, duct tape, a pair of gloves, and a four inch flat mini responder emergency trauma dressing. So like I said, enhancing your capability, not a full blown IFAC, but it has a lot of the staples and it's still more than what the Micro Trauma Kit Now Nano gives you from Blue Force Gear. So let's talk about the next kit. All right, next is the POC kit, which you can see here is substantially wider and takes up a little more space than the Slick kit. We can actually just compare those really quick. So about the same size in the sense of overall, you know, surface area, but then when you actually compare the width, this thing gets a lot thicker. So it does provide quite a bit more capability. You have this pull tab in order to get it out of your pocket much more easily and to kind of identify that this is medical gear for anyone else who might be rendering aid for you, but you're the one carrying this, right? And then, of course, me in the USA, which all their stuff is, so that's why Refuge Medical is awesome. But inside, you actually get a lot of capability. Now, I don't want to pull this out because it can be a pain, but I'll tell you what's in it. We got a chest seal or a pair of chest seals, hemostatic gauze, duct tape, a nasal pharyngeal airway. We have a four inch emergency trauma dressing, gloves, compressed gauze, antiseptic towelettes, and a permanent marker. So that's a lot in the sense of being able to render aid during a trauma situation. This is really on the edge of having everything you might realistically need other than of course like a tourniquet but honestly like this in your pocket instead of on your belt is really nice and it still provides a lot of medical capability so lastly let's move on to the ankle kit all right so here's the ankle kit now what's cool about this is that you have a lot of hook and loop here in order to adjust this to whatever size you need really tight pretty loose it all just depends on your leg, of course, but you have that adjustment range, which is nice. And the rest is elastic so that it holds everything really tight, but gives you the ability to still move around with it on you. It doesn't really restrict your movement at all, which I found to be really comfortable. Now, this has some interesting stuff in it and definitely has a lot of capability for how easy it is to carry around. So what do you get? You get an SOF tourniquet, which you can see we have right here, okay? You also get Halo chest seal, compressed gauze, gloves, flat duct tape, Sharpie marker, and S-Mark compression bandage like what you have in the Nano Micro Kit, which I just dropped, but here that is. And as you can see, size-wise, I mean, this ankle kit is actually pretty small, especially if you were to eliminate the wings there and just go off of where the actual first aid gear is. You're not talking a lot more space, but you are talking a lot more capability. And then it also has a five by nine inch gauze abdominal pad. So this gives you quite a bit when it comes to being able to deal with trauma while having it on your ankle, having it concealed, and having it off of your kit, not on your belt, not on your plate carrier, not on your chest rig at all. So if I had to pick one of these personally, uh, from what I found to be the mix of the best comfort while having good capability, um, honestly, as of right now, I really like the slick kit. I like how this can go in my cargo pocket. It's very slim, it's very lightweight, and I literally forget it even exists. And of course, if you had just standard like cargo shorts or something that you wear on a regular basis, I mean, this will fit in those pockets and have a lot of capability to add to your first aid repertoire, right? But the other thing that I like about this is that in conjunction with some tourniquets and some other minor pieces of first aid equipment, you really have a lot in the sense of what you can treat. So ankle kit, very capable, I like it. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan personally of always wearing a bunch of weight on my ankle, but for some people, this is definitely gonna be where it's at. I can see why this is gonna be really popular because you might just not have any other space for this type of kit in all honesty. And then this is great as long as you just wanna go minimalist and you're throwing on a pair of shorts or jeans and you wanna go out in the town or whatever, but you still wanna have some medical capability, this is awesome. And this is also something you can just throw into a chest rig or on a plate carrier. It doesn't have molly attachments, but it will fit in a pocket or any other type of like administrative pouch. And now you suddenly have some additional medical gear. So 
This is great for that. And then of course the pocket, this is actually the real kit here when it comes to overall capability. Um, it's just the largest, the most cumbersome, and at least in my opinion, when I'm wearing it in my cargo pockets, the most noticeable. So yes, you do have the additional capability. And this is also, you can throw this anywhere, right? This can go in your glove box, in your backpack. It can go in any other form or function that you wanna apply it to. But just for carrying on my body and in order to get kits off of my uh, belt, plate carrier, and chest rig, I think the slick kit, at least for me, is like the real winner. But any of these other options do add some additional capability and are good options as well. So I wanted to share this with everybody because I struggle when it comes to dealing with all of that, trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. And then of course, if you want to have a video about my modified Safari Land setup here that allows me to ditch the drop leg holster, I'm down for that too because I really hate wearing that strap around my thigh. Anything else you need from me at all, go to magicpepper.com. All the links are down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment along with the discount code. And like I said, the commissions I get from Refuge Medical go directly to their charity. I don't earn the money, I just donate it. So I think that's a great cause. And then of course, don't forget this Blue Force gear, Micro Kit Trauma Now Nano is available at Midway USA, who's the biggest supporter of the channel. Big thanks to both of these companies for making some really high quality gear here in the United States. Anything else you need from me, you know what to do. That's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.